Hello everyone. Welcome to TechTo.com. In this lecture, we will learn how to find out rank of a matrix using a alternate method or using better method which we which we understood in last lecture. So let's get started. We have example here. We will solve this example rather than going through theories. So before we solve it, I would like to discuss what should be the approach towards the problem. So once you get a matrix to find out the rank of this matrix, we should think that C. For example, this this is four cross four matrix. Now we have to find out the rank. So rank may ma maximum possible rank is four, right? So four will be the rank only if only if the determinant is determinant of this is not equal to zero. Okay, the maximum possible minor is what? Four cross four. The determinant itself, determinant of the matrix. So we will check whether determinant is equal to zero or not. So if the determinant is equal to zero, then the rank will be less than four, right? Then we will check for three cross three minors, right? So what if we try to choose a row or column, any row or column, and we try to make all the elements zero just imagine if we make all these elements zero just imagine if it becomes zero 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 then what will be the case it means you have completely omitted a row from the matrix now you have only possible minus 3 cross 3 okay you need not to count these row while forming the minus. So in this manner you have decreased you have decreased the number of possible 3 cross 3 minus to check. Okay you, you need to check only how many possible minus? 1 and 2 and 3 minus. Okay so in this manner basically you are decreasing maybe more than three I'm not taking care about this so what you're doing is you're decreasing the number of calculation okay so similarly what we will do we will try to make as much as zero as possible in a single row fine so let's start with this now we will perform some elementary operation in this matrix so that we will make maximum zeros in a row now to perform this we will choose a row if, if we are making zeros in row we will choose a row where we have a element some element in which we can multiply something and multiply some number and if this row this row is subtracted from other rows it gives zero for example it is one if we multiply four in this and subtract from this this element will become zero right so in this manner we will do some elementary operations so what will be the operations we will have we will do let's exchange the row to make it easier it will look little easier so exchanging the row doesn't make any difference it will become one zero one five two minus one one four 4 minus 1, 3, 14, 3 minus 1, 2, 9. Now, we will choose this row and by multiplying some constant every time we will subtract from another row and make these rows 0. Okay? So, this we will do like what, we, what will be the approach? We will replace R3 by r3 minus 3 times of r1 will replace no no this is r4 sorry okay we will replace r3 by r3 minus 4 times of r1 r2 by r2 minus 2 times of r1 okay so the remaining elements will become 0 so now what will be the resultant matrix after this elementary operation so we will have the matrix 
1 the first row will be as it is so 1 0 1 5 then this one will become 0 okay this is minus 1 of course this one is 1 minus 2 times of 1 which is minus 1 again this is 4 minus 2 times of 5 which is minus 6 then this is again 0 this is again minus 1 this is 3 minus 4 times of 1 which is minus 1 again this is 14 minus 4 times of 5 which is again minus 6 now this will become 0 this is 3 minus 3 times of 1 this is minus 1 minus 3 times of 0 which is minus 1 this is 2 minus 3 times of 1 which is minus 1 this is 9 minus 3 times of 15 which is uh, 3 times of 5 which is 15 so this is again minus 6 fine so this is the matrix which we got now if you see carefully we have these two rows equal right so now a simple elementary operation again <coughs> what we will do we will choose this row okay and we will subtract from these two rows so R3 is replaced by R3 minus R2 R4 is replaced by R3 R4 minus R2 now so what will be the resultant what will be the resultant it will become 1 0 first row is unchanged so 1 0 1 5 this will become 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 6 this will become 0 0 0 0 as it is completely subtracted 0 0 0 0 fine now if you see this row is complete 0 so th we have omitted this row completely now this is also 0 so we have uh, omitted these two rows completely now we have only possible minor is 2 cross 2 which is not equal to 0 fine so if we take one let's say this okay what will become the minor will become one okay so here we have minor is equal to one so the rank of this matrix a will be equal to two because we have a two cross two minor which is not equal to zero so similar fashion we can use to find rank of any larger matrix and it will be easier okay. so I hope you understand it we will discuss more examples on it thanks for watching